that's what I'm teaching you in this course is how to do the role of a business analyst and a scrum master really well because the domain you will learn. But this skill set is what will help you survive and do your job well. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I did just to buttress what you you're saying, right? Um, uh, a former trainer of mine actually talked about uh, his first day on the job, and um, he was really confused the very first couple of days, and all of a sudden, uh, in the course of conversing with one of the developers who happened to be an Indian, and uh, and and that one said, I mean, he said, uh, why don't we have lunch and everything? There's an Indian restaurant. And that one said, uh, you like Indian food? And he was able to say, yeah, I like this, this, this. And that was what saved him on that project. Exactly. The Indian guy just, I mean, enjoyed his company throughout and put him through everything he needed to learn. That's exactly how it is, you guys. I can't stress how important it is to connect with people because... I mean, we're in COVID, so we're still semi-hybrid. Um, but when we were at work and I started a new position, I would purposely not take anything for lunch, right? I'd go around to like my coworkers, be like, hey, so what's good to eat here? And more than often, would be like, oh, let's go. Let's go grab lunch from such and such place. And so you're walking together, you're talking, getting to know them, getting to know the environment, right? But even now in on in Zoom, I've started new positions. You know, we've been in COVID for a couple of years, 2020, right? So it's four years. And since then I've transitioned into two or three different jobs. And even if we're not physically together, I will, you know, message them and say, hey, I see you're working on this project. You have 15 minutes for me. I'm new. Uh, I'm managing this project or I'm assigned to this. And I have some time and I'd love to learn about this project or I'd love, love to learn about what you do. And I will guarantee you, like if you see on LinkedIn, when you send messages like this to people, they don't turn you down. It's even more critical that you do that at work because they definitely won't want to turn you down. Like how shitty are they going to feel if they never respond to you? and they see you in a meeting next week or whatever the case may be. So if you think that LinkedIn is successful with random strangers who just wanna know what you do, how successful will you be if you do this in your own work environment? And when people see that you are trying, they want to like, I mean, in your own personal life, if you see somebody new at work and they're asking you a lot of questions and they're trying, what do you do? You wanna help them out, right? And it's the same scenario in these jobs is, you latch on to people, you learn, you return the favor, you watch out for them, you're a good person, and you will have no problem staying in that job. But if you get into this environment and you're shy and you're quiet and you're not trying to reach out and you're not asking questions, you're not gonna last for very long. I can guarantee that to you. You're not lasting there long. Because nobody wants to deal with, you know, having to pull you all the time. You need to be a team player. You need to show up. Does that make sense? Okay. Absolutely. Okay. I was a little hesitant to cover this topic with you guys because I know some of you guys are brand new. So I don't want to like bombard you with this stuff. But this is so critical, you guys. It's it's really, really important. So, um with that, we'll start with Scrum. <laughs>